welcome to our deep dive into the dramatic and ongoing saga of Boeing Starliner mission, which has left two astronauts in a precarious situation aboard the International Space Station. Let's start from the beginning. On June 5th, astronauts Barry Wilmore and Sunita Williams launched into space aboard Boeing Starliner, marking the capsule's first mission to orbit carrying astronauts. Their mission was to dock with the ISS and remain in orbit for a planned eight-day stay. This mission was highly anticipated as a crucial test for Boeing's entry into NASA's commercial crew program. However, soon after docking with the ISS, Starliner encountered a series of technical issues that have significantly altered the mission timeline. The spacecraft has experienced no less than five helium leaks, which are critical as helium is used to pressurize the thrusters. Additionally, five of Starliner's maneuvering thrusters have failed and a propellant valve has refused to close completely. These issues have raised serious concerns about the capsule's ability to safely return to Earth. NASA has had to reschedule the return of Will Moore and Williams three times due to these complications. Initially, their return was set for mid-June, but now, the latest internal target date is July 6th. If this date holds, the astronauts will have spent a month in space instead of just over a week. The uncertainty and repeated delays underscore the gravity of the situation. So, what are Butch and Suni doing while waiting for a resolution? Despite the unexpected extension of their mission, the astronauts remain busy with crucial tasks. Recently, they replaced the pressure control and pump assembly motor that supports the ISS's main restroom facilities. They've also been testing systems within the Starliner spacecraft itself, ensuring everything is functioning as well as possible given the circumstances. The main concern now is Starliner's propulsion system, which is essential for safely backing the capsule away from the ISS and positioning it for re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. NASA's commercial crew manager, Steve Stitch, has explained that the thrusters have overheated when fired, and the helium leaks seem linked to how often the thrusters are used. Starliner is designed to stay docked at the ISS for up to 45 days, with a maximum of 72 days if necessary relying on backup systems. If Starliner cannot be fixed in time, NASA has considered using SpaceX's Crew Dragon to bring the astronauts back. Crew Dragon, which carried four astronauts to the ISS in March, could accommodate additional crew members in an emergency. This scenario, while unlikely, would be a significant embarrassment for Boeing, highlighting ongoing issues with their spacecraft. Why is this mission so critical? The Starliner capsule is meant to be a vital alternative to SpaceX's Crew Dragon, currently the only U.S. spacecraft shuttling astronauts to and from the ISS. In 2014, NASA commissioned both SpaceX and Boeing to develop commercial crew capsules. SpaceX began its missions in 2020, but Boeing has faced numerous delays and technical challenges. Boeing's journey with Starliner has been rocky, with planned launches last year scrubbed due to overheating batteries, flammable protective tape, and parachute system issues. These setbacks have led to significant financial losses, estimated at around $1.5 billion. The current situation underscores the high stakes and challenges of human spaceflight, as NASA and Boeing work tirelessly to resolve Starliner's issues. The safety of astronauts Will Moore and Williams remains the top priority. This mission's outcome will significantly impact Boeing's future in NASA's commercial crew program and the broader landscape of space exploration. Thank you for joining us in exploring this critical moment in space history. Stay tuned for more updates on this and other space missions. Please subscribe to our channel for more updates.